<laughs> oh man, y'all, you can't make this up. So it's final. The Philadelphia Eagles defeated the San Francisco 49ers by a score of 31 to 7 today. And I really want to give a huge congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles and the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, without question, because they've been talking about how they were the team to beat all season. Even before the season started, they were talking mess. Y'all know people in Philly really love their sports teams, for sure, for sure. But a lot of people didn't expect the Eagles to go to the Super Bowl and finish the season 14 and 3. And went seven and two at home. That's phenomenal, right? But what I really want to do in this video is take the time out to say congratulations and clap it up. And clap it up for real for Jalen Hurts. 24-year-old Jalen Hurts leads his team to the Super Bowl, man. And you can't tell me that anybody saw this really being the career for Jalen Hurts after what happened to him at the University of Alabama, right? Jalen Hurts was the man when he first arrived at Alabama. He was the quarterback. He was starting for them, I think, as a true freshman. He was starting for them, right? He was the guy. Led them all the way to the championship game, was doing his thing. But people started to notice that, hey, he may not be the passer that Alabama is used to having. He may not be the passing quarterback that it takes to really take them to the next level to win a national championship game. He got pulled from the national championship game in favor of Tua Tagovailoa, right? He got pulled for Tua, but he celebrated his teammate Tua throwing a game-winning touchdown. He celebrated Tua throwing a game-winning touchdown, celebrated it and all, right? He, end up, he ends up losing his starting job at Alabama. They first, they, they start the season, Tua starting, they starting back and forth, back and forth. They're going back and forth, back and forth until Nick Saban decides that Tua Tagovailoa is the guy for the job. Jalen Hurts never threw a fit. He never complained and moaned on the sidelines. He never appeared disgruntled in front of the camera, kept a smile on his face. He kept working, kept working, kept working, and he stayed ready for his opportunity. And that opportunity came in the SEC Championship game when Tua Tagovailoa got hurt. Jalen Hurts comes in, and he brings Bama back from behind to beat Georgia once again. He waits for his moment to arrive, and he plays well in it and balls out of his mind. And he, he helps get them to the national championship game without question, right? They win the SEC Championship. You know, they win the SEC Championship game, right? And so, of course, Tua comes in. He, he gets his starting job back. So, Jalen Hurts then transfers to Oklahoma. He goes to Oklahoma, looks at adversity in the face, smiles, and goes to ball out at Oklahoma putting up video game numbers. Puts up video game numbers and develops a rapport with the receiver CeeDee Lamb. Him and CeeDee Lamb get drafted. They become big time. Well, CD become the big time prospect. Jalen Hurts becomes a second round pick. And a lot of people feeling like, was that too high for Jalen to get drafted in that position? Is Jalen really a dude you want to take in the second round? They start questioning his throwing mechanics. Is he not really the dude you want to have on the center for you? He's not a franchise quarterback. And the Eagles feel like they got a steal. People still looking like, hell no, y'all really didn't. For him to come up into this moment and become the starting quarterback for the Eagles, he becomes the starting quarterback. Now, the season before that, he threw for 3,100 yards. Had a very solid, a very solid season. Then throws for nearly 600 more yards, 3,700 yards this year. 22 touchdowns, six interceptions, a 100.5 uh, passer rating. That's dope. Playing like an MVP all the way, all the way around, leading his team to a fourth, like a 14 win season. Like that is phenomenal. That really shows you what this kid is made of. All the adversity that went on in his career, you come to Bama. You're supposed to be that dude and stay that dude. When you lose your starting job at Bama, people really write you off. They're going to be like, oh, he can't get it done at Bama. He can go anywhere else he want to go. It still ain't going to be the same. People are going to always remember him as the guy who lost his position in Alabama. So he's always going to be the number two type of guy. Then he comes in. He got throwing mechanics. People like he needs to work on certain things. He goes and works on his throwing mechanics. Gets with a QB coach to fix certain, uh, certain things in his throwing, his throwing uh, mechanics, so on and so forth. And he becomes a much better passer. 
than we ever imagined him to be. He works his ass off, gets better, gets better, develops leadership qualities, and now he's playing in the Super Bowl, y'all. For real, he built us something different. His story is special. It's amazing. For sure, because after he left Bama, people were like, no, nah, you can't win with dude. Ain't no way in hell nobody saw him being a franchise quarterback leading, te leading the team to the uh to the Super Bowl. And not at the very end when he wins a key game. All season long, he been the dude. He been the straw that stirred the drink for the team. For real. Now, again, he playing with some great receivers, for sure. Like He, he definitely is. You got to give credit. You feel me? You got to give credit when it's due. Got to give credit to A.J. Brown. You got to give credit to uh, Devontae Smith as well. I'm not going to ever try to, you know, shun and act like them brothers not like that because they really, really like that for sure. But Jalen Hurst been playing like a MVP, a MVP all season, for sure. And, again, to have the moments he's had, like, damn, nobody thought he would have a better career right now than Tua Tagovailoa. After when Tua was there, people thought Tua was going to be the man. Without quite, and Tua had a really solid, really good season. Of course, we got him a receiver. He looks very more than competent. He looks much different. But at, at the end of the day, his team ain't playing in the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts is. And Jalen Hurts is, it was MVP talk. That's He been MVP type, type dude in the, in the MVP conversation all year. You know? And I'm extremely proud of this brother. Because people said it was holes in certain parts of his game. He went to fix it. He went to fix it. And, you know, it says a lot about him that he didn't throw a fit. He wasn't pouting. He wasn't whining. He wasn't. He was celebrating and clapping when his, when a when a quarterback that took his job was doing well. He was up celebrating and clapping. And he got called in and did and he won the game for them. He didn't say, y'all, see what y'all could have had? He didn't throw it in their face. Y'all should have kept me at the position. Y'all should have kept me as a starter. I'm the one that got y'all here. He didn't do none of that. He said, okay, I see two of y'all got going for it. I tried to fight it out and compete with him. Y'all chose to. I try, I stayed to try to, to win the competition. I lost this competition. I'm going to go elsewhere, and I'm going to go ahead and become and, and lead my own team and do my thing over there. And that's what he did, man. And um, he did it at Oklahoma. And, again, man, it's, it's dope to see. Now you got two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl. Now some of y'all going to say, well, he really biracial, but y'all know how they do. And growing up, if you had a black parents, you was black. Only time you was getting claimed as biracial for real is if white folks really, really loved you enough and you did some good stuff, they wanted to claim you then. Other than that, you was black for real, for real. Especially if you identified as black and you obviously looked like black. Look, uh, obviously looked more black than anything, right? But, of course, Patrick Mahomes, he, you know, he's really close with his mom's side. His, his, mo his mother's white, his father's black. And so, of course, you know, whatever. But again, his father's black. So you got two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl, Pat Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. And it's dope and special to see because in a lot of the uh, a lot of the conservative people, why does race have to be brought into it? Why does it have to be about race? What are we going to talk about race? It's important because at one point, the black man was looked at as not equipped to play their quarterback position, not mentally equipped. It felt like we were incompetent mentally to try to play that position. We didn't have the mental capacity to really understand in the nuances of the game to make critical, quick think to make to, to think on the fly and to make to think that, that quarterback position. You got to think quick. You got to make adjustments on the fly. You have to really be able to really you got to understand. You got to know how to read defenses. You got to. Um, to, to know the playbook, so on and so forth. You got to do all of that. You got to be able to, got to be able to make a lot of decisions in a split second. So black people, black men were thought of as incapable to play that position, incapable, right? So there, there was always a stigma around a black quarterback. So now to see two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl, that is dope. It's special. It has to be acknowledged. It has to be acknowledged. I'm sorry, I'm messing up the little camera. Uh. But it has to be acknowledged for sure. Whether people like it or not, it got to be talked about. It got to be talked about because at some point we never thought, at one point we never thought we would even be here having these type of discussions. We never thought that we would see black quarterbacks leading their teams to Super Bowls and being franchise guys, getting mega million dollars on the verge of getting mega million dollars and being MVPs of the league. So it got we got to talk about it whether y'all like it or not whether y'all don't oh my god it gets so sensitive talking about race race exists we are different because we are of different ethnicities yeah we are all human but 
the different our different ethnicities. There are different cultural uh, cues, social cues, and our within us being different ethnicities. It's what makes us unique. Our different ethnicities, right? We have different uh, culture, different flavor, different flair within these different ethnicities, so on and so forth. And those things, it's, it's okay to talk about them and acknowledge these differences within ethnicities and acknowledge that, hey, he's a different ethnicity, he's a different ethnicity. You know, it's only shunned when it's black and white. Nobody talks about it when it's Hispanic, when it's Asian or nothing. When a black person talk about being black, everybody get butt hurt and talk about why we got to talk about race. You know, but it is what it is, man. But I'm really, really proud of Jalen Hurst and how far he's come in his career. He needs to be celebrated and commended. And he's a stand-up brother, stand-up individual all the way through and through. And um, I'm really proud of the strides he made in his career for sure. And, uh, and the adversity that he's overcome. As Marcus Spears put on Twitter, rumble, young man, rumble. Y'all know what uh, Muhammad Ali used, used to say with uh, Bundini Brown? Rumble, young man, rumble. Ah, that when you in a fight of your life, when you got to go at, go at it and dig deep, you got to rumble. And he rumbled all the way, all the way uh, to the top. After being benched, put on the shelf, and tossed to the wind like he wasn't nothing. And when he went to Oklahoma, people were like, oh, they're going to do something good. But Jalen ain't going to be like that. Okay, he went second round, but he ain't no franchise quarterback. Steady proving people wrong time and time again. I'm happy for the young man. Machiavelli Mills TV, leave your comments in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.